Hi, Keith from My Point Exactly here. Want to target a defined geographic location with a new marketing campaign? Microsoft MapPoint lets you plot prospects in a map and then export those in a specific area to Microsoft Excel. Once there, you can quickly turn that list into mailing labels using Microsoft Word. Let me show you how in 90 seconds. In this example, I'll assume that I'm the owner of a fire safety business. I've picked up a new product line and have recently seen success in servicing fire suppression systems in larger restaurants. I want to build on this success by doing a little advertising to target restaurants in my geographic area. I've decided on a full color postcard mailer because it's a cost effective way to get the word out and I've had other business owners tell me they've seen it work for them. Now I've gone ahead and purchased a list of all the restaurants in the Northeast that fit my target demographic and have plotted them in Microsoft MapPoint. I know that my profit margin suffers when my texts travel more than 90 minutes to the job, so I want to target all prospects that are within a 90 minute drive time from the shop. To limit my mailing list to only those restaurants that are within a 90 minute drive window, I right click on the shop, choose Create Drive Time Zone, Enter 90 minutes and click OK. And now I see all points my text can drive to from the shop within 90 minutes. To export the data associated with the push pins within this drive time zone, I right click on the boundary and choose Export to Excel. Each push pin within the designated area, along with the data fields that I had included when importing to the map, will be exported to Excel. I save this file in a location that I will come back to in a second. Now, open Microsoft Word 2010. If you're using a previous version of Word, this process will look a little different, but the basic principles and commands are the same. Just search Bing videos if you need help on your version of Excel. Okay, so I've got Word open. From the Mailings tab, first I click Start Mail Merge, and then Labels. I choose the type of label I'm going to be putting on my postcards, in this case the Avery 5160, and click OK. Now I see a template grid on my document. Next I choose Select Recipients, and choose Use Existing List. I navigate to the Excel file I just saved, and click on the worksheet that has my prospects on it. Now I click Insert Merge Fields. Make sure the Database Fields radio button is checked and begin adding the fields that will be in your label. Add them in the order you want them to appear, but don't worry about what line they're on. We'll take care of that in a second. So it's salutation, name, company, address, city, state, and zip. Now I'm going to go in and click in front of Company, hold the Shift button, and hit Enter to put that on the second line of the label. Holding the Shift button just keeps the lines tighter so they fit on the label. Then I do the same for Address, and then City, State, Zip. I'll also put a space between City and State, and State and Zip, and we'll do the same for Salutation as well. Okay, so I've got my label fields created. I can format it some more at this point, like change the font or the style, but that looks good to me and I'll leave it alone. The next step is to click the Update Labels button. Now don't get worried that the rest of your labels look like they start lower and have this next record insert here. That's just there to help Word create your labels properly. As a matter of fact, you can make yourself feel better by clicking the Preview Results button. Yep, that looks good. The last thing to do is click the Finish and Merge button. I choose to print documents, Make sure my labels are in the printer properly and hit OK to print. And that's how you go from map to mailing labels in 90 seconds. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helps you increase business this year. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified of our latest videos. And check out our website, mypointsales.com, for more tips and tricks for getting the most out of today's mapping and GPS technology.